Hey guys, Kristen Legs, Kristen with the long legs, here for an update on my Air Force journey. This journey is the perfect word because it's not like, it doesn't specify whether it's an easy or a hard journey. It's, it's a journey. It's a process with the denotation of process as in being a long and hard process. Not necessarily that it's hard, but it's just taking a lot of stuff to get a lot of stuff done. So right now I'm currently in the stages of waiting for the lieutenant to um, look at my paperwork and make sure everything's correct so he can just choose whether they want me in the Air Force or whether they don't. I'm pretty sure it's going to be that they want me in the Air Force. If it doesn't, I, these Air Force videos are going to stop. But um, so right now I've just looked at some jobs and the jobs, I'm, so I get to pick out 10 jobs. So I was talking to my recruiter, you pick out 10 jobs, I say 10 because one of them is going to be open in whatever um, field that you pick your jobs from. So I'm choosing all my jobs from the generalist because I don't want to do anything mechanical and even though I did score well in electrical, electrical enunciate, um, I wouldn't enjoy doing an electrical job for four years and it's not like I'm trying to get what I want. And you know, I do want to help out where the military needs me, but I'm not gonna sign an electrical job for four years. I'm not gonna enjoy it. Then I get my phone and look at the jobs that I wrote down. This is from um, what order I want these jobs, and this is how I'm gonna put them on my list when my recruiter asks me um, what jobs do I want. So I have public affairs. That'll be fun because that involves my major. My major is communications and media. So that would help, um, I would get credits toward my major and I feel like that would be a super fun job. Radio and TV broadcasting goes to my major as well. Still photography goes to my major, my hobby is photography. I'm doing photography, videography regardless. Um, graphic arts apprentice, I feel like that would be interesting, like an interesting skill to pick up and I could help do that, um, help do that, blah, help myself uh, some more with my branding and hope to not to learning how to do that um pharmacy one of my mom's friends friends or her sister or one of her friends who was in the air force she said she said she um when she was in the air force she said she enlisted in 1999 two years after i was born i was like oh my gosh but um yeah she said she did the pharmacy job and she enjoyed it a lot and it you know gave her some out of uh, gave her some experience in the civilian world so she was able to transfer that job to the civilian world with experience it's just like little minor differences so I was like okay that's cool that'd be a cool job to have um, medical services I don't know why this is on my list I guess I looked it up and I um, put the links in my other video how to pick out jobs um, that show the descriptions of what kind of job you want so look at that video like comment subscribe yeah look at that video and it'll show you like if you type in the code for the job or just the name for the job it'll show you what the specifics for the job are what you do on, um, on a day to day basis what bases you can actually go to if you get deployed a lot or not what certifications you possibly can get from that what requirements you need before it that um, another job I picked was the weather job. That job seems super cool. I could definitely apply that into like um, a broadcasting job later when I go back into the civilian world, which is why I chose it. The only thing is I could possibly go to Alaska for 18 months and I don't want to do that. The other places that I could train for are fine, but Alaska, like, that's a really heavy bet. But it's like a 1 in 7 chance that I would go to Alaska out of the 7 bases that they have. But if they really need people in Alaska, they'll put me in Alaska. Look at my skin. I don't belong in Alaska. Uh, and then the last one I chose was dental assistant. Dental assistant looked really interesting when I looked at um, the job description for it. And then when it um, goes back into the civilian world, their median pay is like $70,000. So I would come out with the experience. And then I would come from the military, so they'd be like, yeah, we definitely want to hire you because they, I don't want to miss a word or anything, but I know they look at veterans closer just to, you know, help them out and get them, like, acclimated back in the world to get jobs. So that's something I definitely want on my list. And I just need to pick one more job, and then I'll have Open General as my 10th job for whenever my recruiter's like, oh, yeah, make your list of whatever jobs you want. 
So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, ha, boy, getting my recruiter to get his stuff together. So I found out that he's actually new and he's only been doing the job for a year. So a year is not really that much experience in comparison to how much experience the other recruiters have, which explains why he's messing up so much. If you haven't seen my other videos, he's messed up my information in the system. So I went to go take my ASVAB. Not only was I not registered to take the ASVAB, none of my information was in the system. So they had to enter that information, which took three hours. Um, he's given me all this random paperwork to do, which we could have done while I was there. And then it'll be like minor stuff that he forgets. So he's like, oh, send this. Oh, I lost this, so can you retype it up and send it to me again? I'm like, no, just go find it because it's in your email. Um, and then I'll like type something and he'll be like, oh yeah, this needs like a wet signature. Don't forget to do that. I'm like, if you would have told me in the first place, we could have sent this paper in three days ago. Like we're just prolonging this process for no reason. But you know, doing it, hopefully on God's timing, everything has a reason. So I'm not like super, super pressed, but it's, it's like, this is getting annoying lights. Like, let's get it on. Let, let's get it done and over with. Other than that, yeah, all I'm doing right now is just waiting for the Lieutenant to give me the go. So I can write them jobs down so they can give me the job that I want. I'm going to, you know, speak life to it because I want to get a job that I would like. So I can get shipped off and go on to the Air Force. But yeah, other than that, um, there's nothing more to my update. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with me in regards to my Air Force journey. So if you like this video, got any questions, like, comment, subscribe. If you do want to, um, if you do have questions, yeah, you just comment under the video and I'll I'll respond back. I It comes to my email, so I will respond back to you. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.